Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to automate repeating sections in Reaper with automation items. I have a project in front of me here that has a guitar part that repeats three different times in the song, but it's very similar on each one. So I want to automate this with panning and volume automation, but I don't want to have to do it three times. Now before automation items, you have to record the automation and then copy it and paste it like this. Here's the part. So I'm going to start with panning automation. I'll type P, which creates a panning envelope. Then I'll go to the mixer. Here's the track right here. Switch the automation mode to write. And we can write some panning automation right here. If I was happy with that, I could copy it and paste it to the other sections, like this. I would turn on my grid, go right to bar seven, put a point there, hold on shift, just so it's right on the beat. Then I could select it from here to here, copy it, go to the next section, right on the bar, paste it, and the same with this one. Now it's going to be exactly the same for all three sections. Now if I want to do the same thing for volume, I would do it this way. Create a volume envelope by typing V. Here's the volume envelope right here. Go to the mixer. We're already in touch mode. Now I want to fade in the guitar part right in the beginning and then fade it out at the end like this. If I'm happy with that, I would turn on my grid. I would go from a bar before, hold on shift to create a point, select it from here to here, copy it, go to the next section, a bar before, and paste it there. Now the volume is exactly the same here and here. And then do the same thing the third time. But this process could be a lot quicker and easier with automation items. So let's undo all this. And let's start again. We'll type P for panning, but we're going to create an automation item for panning. Let's start it a bar before, alt on the PC, option on the Mac, just draw it right here. We'll go a bar before and after. Then we're going to do the same thing for this one. What we first want to do is select this one. So when we draw this one in right here, it's going to pull from the first one. Notice the name, one pan, one pan. So they're exactly the same. So they're going to pull, meaning the automation from one is going to be duplicated in the other. So let's do the same thing over here. Just draw it in right to here. And again, it has the same name, one pan. So each one of these is pooling. So now try automation into the first one. And we want to select the automation item, otherwise it won't write. Once again, we'll switch this to write mode. And let's write the panning automation in here. And notice what happens to these two at the same time. the same automation to each one of these. So now if we're happy with this, we're done. There's no need to copy it and paste it to each section. It's already there. Let's do the same thing with the volume. Type V for a volume envelope. Once again, we'll create an item here. 
let's deselect this one first and draw it from a bar before and a bar after. Make sure we select it, go to the second one, and draw one here, and another one right here. Notice the name, two volume, for each one of them. So now, open the mixer, it's already in touch mode, so it's faded in and then faded out into this item. Notice it's selected, and watch what happens to these two at the same time. Perfect. And if we're happy with this, we're done. It's already there. But the nice thing about this is if at any point we want to redo it, we only have to redo it once, as it's automatically going to be written to the other two. And we could do it with any of them. Let's go to the second chorus. Let's say we wanted to redo just the fade in. Just start right here. Make sure we select it. Go to the mixer. Let's redo just the fade in. I'll let go of the fader before the fade out. Notice it redid the beginning on all of them, but it preserved the endings. And again, it does it all in one shot. No need to copy and paste each time. And this is going to work with any envelopes. Anytime you want to duplicate many envelopes at the same time, just pull them. So that's pretty much it. That's automating repeating sections in Reaper using automation items. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!